Welcome to Canvas Training. This video provides an overview for clients interested in Canvas's standard 24-7 and Tier 1 support packages. In this training, I'll show differences between these support packages and I'll highlight service response times and then detail support and case escalation processes. I'll give an overview of Service Cloud features and I'll talk about case details then I'll touch on Service Cloud custom built reports. I'll finish by sharing some valuable resources Canvas users have, such as the Canvas community, the Canvas guide, and the status page. So, how are cases created for standard and 24 7 support? Well, all users can use the Report a Problem feature in Canvas. To use this feature, just be in Canvas. Over here in the Global Navigation menu here on the left-hand side, notice there is a Help option here at the bottom. Clicking on Help will pull out this customized menu of options, including Report a Problem. You can place your subject and description and also a triage on how the issue is affecting you. Users can also send an email to support and Instructure.com. Keep in mind these users must be 18 years or older. Canvas admins can create cases by accessing the Service Cloud form. Also, for standard and 24-7 support, only Canvas admins can contact support by phone. So what's included with standard and 24-7 support? For Service Cloud licenses, standard gets one field admin, and 24-7 gets three field admins. What does that mean? Well, a field admin can access the Service Cloud to create, review, manage, and even close cases for your account. Response times for any cases coming into Canvas for standard support is 48 hours. For 24-7 support is eight hours. Any phone call is usually less than a minute to answer and voicemails less than 15 minutes. How are cases created for Tier 1 support? Well, all users can again use the Report a Problem feature in Canvas or send an email to support at Instructure.com. But for Tier 1 support clients, your users can also contact Canvas support by phone or by chat. To use all of these features, keep in mind again that users must be 18 years or older. Field admins, uh, Canvas admins can still use the Service Cloud form to create cases. What's included for Tier 1 support? For Service Cloud licenses, Tier 1 support can have up to three field admins accessing the Service Cloud. The response times, cases sent in with report or problem, to access those cases, we have 60 minutes. Any cases by email, we have up to 60 minutes. Phone calls coming in, we have less than a minute to answer. Responses to voicemail, less than 15 minutes. And if you use the chat option, it's usually less than two minutes to respond. So to set up your field admin access to the service cloud, you wanna make sure that you as the individual will be the field admin for your the account. Then you want to use the Report a Problem feature using the Help button within Canvas. In the subject line, put in Service Cloud Field Admin Authorization. And in the description, include your Canvas username, email address, and institution name. How are cases solved for standard or 24-7 support? Well, any case that is created automatically gets assigned to you, the field admin. If, if you as a field admin feel that this case is outside of your wheelhouse or your abilities, you can always escalate that case to L1 support, which resolves about 95% of cases. Any cases escalated from there will go to L2 or L3, and even engineering and product development. Keep in mind, any type of issue that is non-Canvas related will be referred back to the Service Cloud admin. How are cases solved for Tier 1 support? Well, any case 
opened up for your institution will automatically go to L1 support. And from there, any cases that need to be escalated will go to L2, L3, engineering and product development. Keep in mind, again, non-Canvas issues will be referred to designated parties as directed by your knowledge base article. So a knowledge base article is a tier one only service. This is a document that is specific to your institution and it provides specific information to our support teams that they can reference. If you need this document, please contact your CSM to receive the KB template. Adding your content to this document activates your tier one support package. The knowledge base article, again, is specific to your institution. Your field admin has to fill out these scenarios. Think about a faculty member contacting Canvas support about software. Where do you want us or what do you want us to say to that faculty member? Where do you want us to direct them? Say a student contacts us and asks us about registration. Where do you want us to direct your, that student? What do you want them us to, what do you want us to tell them about your registration process? If it's any type of IT issue, what do you want us to say? Is there any local help number, a local help desk number that we can reference and give to your uh, your users? Also, is there anything specific that you want Canvas to do or not to do within your account? You can specify here. So when a case is open with Canvas support, what can we help you with? Well, we can certainly help you with login issues if you're utilizing Canvas authentication. We can also provide how to, uh, assistance with how-to questions for all of your users. We can troubleshoot any type of legitimate issues, and if need to, we can also solve any Canvas issue presented. Canvas support can also assist with high impact concerns such as outages, severe slowness, or affected performance. Keep in mind, we will try to contact your local field admin and also your CSM to let them know what is going on. We also handle things like high impact bugs. We may open a specific case for that called a JIRA. Also high impact concerns are things like missing grades or student work or any type of security and privacy issues. You can always expect Canvas support to fix a problem as soon as possible to have a a good notes for the next level of escalation. We can also provide any type of workaround in the interim and also we will be available to answer any of your questions. Uh, Canvas support is a 24-7, 365 support organization. You may hear some vocabulary terms uh, specific for Canvas support, things like I'm going to escalate that. That usually just means that L1 has worked to a certain point on that particular case that they need to send this to L2 support or someone else with more experience or better tools. As mentioned before, for any type of high impact bug, you may say something like I'll attach your case to a JIRA. That's an internal case that is support facing only, that engineering can go ahead and work on an issue. Usually those issues may be just affecting you or multiple users. Any case that comes in is going to be attached to that JIRA. So if an engineer needs to make any type of update on that JIRA, that update will be sent down to all cases that are attached to it. You may hear things like, I'm going to hotfix that. Well Canvas, updates, well, Canvas updates itself every three weeks, and those updates include any type of bug fixes. But an issue that is affecting you may not be able to wait three weeks. So we'll provide a hot fix to where you do not have to wait until the next schedule production release. So field admins can access the service cloud to create cases at cases.canvaslms.com. Here's the Service Cloud dashboard. Also, again, field admins can create a case by coming here 
placing in a subject and a description and how the issue is affecting them. You as the field admin can also right here escalate the case directly to Canvas support. You can search for cases by case number and user. You can also toggle through here through new cases, pending cases, open cases, and so on. Coming down here, you can actually click on a case to review details of the case. You can apply a macro to a case. For example, any type of issue that happens on a frequent basis, like password issues, you can go ahead and have something pre-prepared. Here's the case number. You usually see who the, uh, who the user was that created the case, and also, very importantly, a timestamp of when the case was created. Down here below, you may notice things like statuses, like new. A new case is a case that has not been picked up by a Canvas support yet or has not been worked. A status of open means that Canvas support is currently working on the issue. And if you see a case in impending status, it just means that Canvas has worked on the issue and we're currently waiting on the client, you, to respond to anything that we're asking uh, in the case notes. Any case that is on hold is a case that is currently attached to a JIRA. And again, remember, any type of updates on a JIRA will be sent to the user of this case. Cases, of course, are solved by either the, the field account admin or the, uh, Canvas support if deemed necessary. And if there are multiple cases coming in that are the same, cases can be closed as duplicates. Down here, you may notice these four areas. These are component section, component affected, component action, and component issue. These are specific areas in Canvas that may be affected, such as the gradebook or any of these other features. These are important because your custom-built reports rely on what is affected. So for example, if you want to know how many type of gradebook issues you've been having in the last three months, Make sure that these, ish, these items are actually filled in. Keep in mind that Canvas support is trained to fill in these items for you if they are not filled in already. Down here below, we see where, you can, where the subject line and the description are. And right here is a URL of where this user was and when they reported the issue. When you hit report an issue in Canvas, it records the page that you're currently on. It helps support kind of backtrack and troubleshoot where the user was when the issue was actually happening. Over here on the right hand side are the posted notes and the communication between the user who created the case and Canvas support. You can always expand the case down to kind of see from the beginning here how the case is going. If you need to make any post to a case, come up here to the top, you can make a post to the case. You can even escalate a case directly to Canvas support. You can attach files, add a CC to the case that needs to be in the loop, or if you're noticing cases coming in that are the same but need to be reserved, uh, that need to be saved, you can go ahead and merge cases together. Other things that you can review are things like custom built reports. Here are reports that are already custom built. Things like cases, uh, case satisfaction, case escalation by week. Remember components. You can access case uh, Canvas component affected by month, by week, and so on. Here you can further customize by dates, by user, by components on what's actually happening or what cases are coming in for your particular account. Other resources that you may have are things like the Canvas community. You can access the community at community.canvaslms.com. The Canvas community is a wealth of information for all Canvas users. 
Here users can come in to find answers by using the Canvas guides. You can access the release notes to see what's upcoming in Canvas, and you can even access things like Canvas training to view what other training offerings might be provided, any type of self-paced uh, training, any type of videos, you can go ahead and access in Canvas training. You can share ideas. I always say that Canvas is community driven. If you have any good ideas, first I'd recommend search for your idea that's not here. You can go ahead and suggest it into this, the Canvas Studio. And if it's upvoted, development will go ahead and take a look at that and possibly put it into development. Here's a couple of ideas that were posted into the Canvas community that's actually going to go into the actual Canvas product. You can also join a Canvas group. Depending on your role, depending on your institution, you can join things like instructional designers, K-12 or Canvas admins, or higher education. The Canvas community contains hundreds of Canvas users who are happy and more than willing to answer any question you may have as a new Canvas user. Also, don't forget Canvas Live. Canvas Live is a virtual event destination for all Canvas users. Events are hosted by Canvas employees, Canvas, member, Canvas community members, and Canvas partners. Sessions are designed to help users improve and enhance their teaching and learning experience with Canvas. Another amazing resource is the Canvas Guides. Canvas Guides are built specifically for user, whether it's an instructor, admin, students, or observers. You can access the Canvas Guide through the Canvas dashboard by going again to the Help option. Pulling out the slider will give you an option to search the Canvas Guides. Here you can go ahead and type in any type of issue or question you may have about Canvas. How to create an assignment. These guides provide how-to step-by-step -step instructions with screenshots. They also provide links to other areas within the Canvas guides that may not be related specifically to the question that you're asking for. Another valuable resource is the Canvas status page. You can access the status page by going to status.instructure.com. The Canvas status page gives the overall health of Canvas at any particular time. Obviously, things that are in the green are good. You can review past incidences down below. Notice that any incident that does come up, notice that Canvas support is currently going to provide an update all the way up into resolution. You can provide the Canvas status page to your users if there are any types of issues that we're, we're currently working on. In the event of any type of outage, the Canvas status page can be provided to users that they can refresh the page in any, until any type of issue is resolved. Thank you for your interest in this Canvas support training video. If you have any further questions about Canvas support, or if you would like to know or identify what support package is relevant for your institution, please inquire with your Canvas customer service manager.